welcome back everybody to Tony's Top Tips Workshop. Um, this is the video here, what I'm going to do today is, is um, as I said in the previous videos, is I want to see what the all three printers, the quality come out like when you print the same item. Um, I'm not going to go um, too in depth with the first print, it's just the standard Benchy. Uh, I'm going to do that, I want to see what it, but I don't print benches but I'm going to do it on this occasion. I'm going to print the one that's um, designed on the Bamboo Labs um, Bamboo Studio and what comes on the machine. So I'm going to do that. Um, it's all going to be printed in PLA Basic and there'll be different colours so I know which comes off which machine. Um, I'm going to print them, I'm not really going to time them because um, obviously setting them all off at the same time is uh, I'm not going to do that anyway <laughs> um, they'll be all done roughly at the same time that's about it um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to give it um, a different print each the same print and see how it comes out like and it's it, it might be a simple print but it's a difficult print because it's got to fit inside somewhere and it's like um, a slide that in fact what I'll do is I'll show you right here we are um, I've got the unit that is what they call a seahorse feeder we have seahorses in the fish tank in our marine tank now what it's going to print is not basically the the bottom part because that's easy enough to print really um, but if I can pull it apart for you right here we are and what it is is that's a seahorse feeder it's a tray but I also do a dish for other food for, for the other fish um, but if you notice there's two slots in there and same on there you can see that now what it is is we have sea urchins in the marine tank and the sea urchins are notorious that no matter how good you put a magnet on um, I have some auto fish feeders um, that I use as well that's one of them oh, it's quite a strong magnet it also has a clip in okay they revolve um, but believe it or not when that's to the glass if the big urchin gets on it it can just do this with it it just turns it so that's why I prefer the clip okay now this has to be a long clip as you can see that that one there goes over 12 mil glass um, that's it hooks over and it goes on the inside now if you can see that each individual one of those is flexible there's a hole between and a little nobule inside on each one now when it prints them it prints them like that but across the bed it does the supports so it has to be supported underneath here it has to be supported under inside there in here and in there there isn't any supports on this side but what you find out is on some of my other printers the supports come off okay even on the Zortrax they come off but sometimes you have to do a little bit of cleaning up inside um, and believe it or not they've got to slide inside those slots now I've normally on all my other printers I've had to actually clean or just lightly sand those little bits in the side you can see that there if this so it allows them to move in as you can see they'll move in a bit so you have to do that to adjust it to slide that's come straight off the a1 okay but I'm I am gonna do it all again just to show you um, the supports do come off reasonably easy you can't just break them off as you would normally um, 
because they're inside there and these you would you, you could quite easily as you imagine if you have two force will it break them off but that's this is how this has to fit now I've not done anything with that that slides up and down and it'll grip it at the end so it's and what goes in there is a piece of clear perspex tube which sticks out of the water at the top uh, out, just outside inside the tank it's about there because that's on the lip of the edge of the glass there um, and so you put your food in there which is out and it sinks down and it comes out the bottom because it's stepped inside oh, you can see that it's stepped inside it's a bit difficult to see with the black um, and then plus the seahorses latch onto here and the feed out of the tray you put live food in as well and it comes out um, yeah it's in my tank now and uh, it's working quite well actually um, and the other fish um, as soon as you put the pump on it slightly draws the rest of the food that's out um, and the other fish go after it as well so yeah really good um, you have to have it locked now if I had that and a magnet at the back there that would be great as soon as the urchin gets on it, which he has done already, he'll just turn it. <laughs> or he'd drag it with him. He's really strong. So and I've two of them in so. Um so that's it. So that's what we're doing. A bench on each of the machines and this. Uh and that'll be a telltale sign. Um how good that I know it's only a small simple print, but it has to fit inside that okay right back to the printers and we'll set them both off Right, what you saw there was one of the problems that I keep that keeps occurring on not so much on the A1 Mini but on the A1 and that is as you stirred it there that rattle and it's because the print bed um, the removable plate is very very difficult sometimes you know to line up to get it back in the right place because the magnets are so strong they're pulling it down the tags at the end that it goes up against should be taller so that it stops that I'm going to print something that lines it back up um, and I've noticed one or two on the um, forum is actually on, on some of the forums has actually complained about the bed not that easy to line up sometimes and you could, the only way you know it is when it rattles away like that
as you can see on the Evil Mini it's got half of the um, Benchy already done the A1 would have been on par with this um, but having to stop it because I hadn't noticed that the bed wasn't on correctly um, it's a lot easier to line up on the A1 Mini than it is the A1 There we are with the Benchy on the A1 Mini And that is the thing that's going on on the A1 Come back to that when it's finished, and that's not far off. Finished. Right, what we've got here, as you can see, is the bench here for the bamboo lamps, and it should be on the X1 carbon. Okay, so we've got a device. Make sure, yep, we're on X1 carbon there. Okay. We'll go back to preview, there's the benchy. Prepare. Yep, there it is. Let's print the plate. See what the preview says. It says 38 minutes, but and we'll send it to the printer. Okay? So it's doing it in dark grid. Let's see what the quality of this one is. admit the, the camera is far superior on the um, X1C than the A1 and A1 Mini. It's, it's very, it's not the same quality, it's very very um, staggered. Um, there's one thing I dislike about it. But there you go, it is what it is. rather well at the moment and we'll go see what the X1C is doing. There we are. Still going strong. There we go. Job done. I always leave it to cool a little bit. But let's see what time that was. that was according to the screen in 18 minutes right, 
this is cooled down a bit that should just break off clean oh there we go as you're aware um, from the previous video there's just a slight line there as it shifts up but nothing the overhangs are pretty good but as I say when I printed the benchy off on this one I thought I'm going to try and see if we can repeat the same process and it does <laughs> I've got a fleet now that's coming along nicely now and that's just about finished There we are, job complete. That one, 21 minutes, 10 grams. It was, it was 9, 9.9 grams, I think, on the mini. And that one, as you can see, 21 minutes. So, um, that, the mini did it a little bit quicker. Not much, but it did. See if it should come off. There we go. Good benchy. And believe it or not, that lay line there, you can see, you can see it on every one of them in the same position. You can just see, it's not a, a, a ridge, it's just a, a mark, and that is because that's where the floor sits on the inside when it prints the floor. Hello. There we go. We're just waiting for the X1 now. Right here we are. Um, all the benches finished, and as you can see, they are all well as regards benches. They're virtually perfect, and that's done on three different machines. Um, on the basic settings, basic PLA. Um, what more can you want? Um, I'm going to set the printers up and and print the item off that I was speaking about earlier. That is what each printer now is printing. Okay, I've just sent it. Run it through Bamboo Studio because obviously it's not stored on the um, on the machines. Um, but you just change the um, this, the actual device. It's simple to do. There we are. Uh, the X1C is printing the same as this and the A1. And the printing that bracket, you can see just a little bit of it on there. Um, and the slightly off square to the frame obviously it's it's full length of that from corner to corner nearly but um, obviously on the A1 you can do it straight across if you want or, or from back to front but I chose not to do it like that you best it about five degrees across from the center because that makes it easier for your um, your actual supports to come off okay so it's just doing all its calibration Obviously this one's printed in green because it's I don't have any black for it. Uh, and that one's printed in black. Okay. So we'll come back in a little while when print's grown a little bit. Right, we're back at the uh, printers now. Um, I can record a good time lapse video on, on the X1C but the cameras for the uh, for these two are not the best of cameras um, but as you can see you can see the actual uh, supports that's been printed there and then you can see that, that one is as well right here we are all the three items finished this one is from the A1 this one is the A1 Mini and this is the X1C 
and as you can see the only slight difference is and it could be because it's it will be because the a1 mini is slightly at more of an angle because the size of the build plate this doesn't fit across like that like the other two do so that's more at an angle so ends that's why the supports look slightly different but if you look at the a1 and the x1 they look virtually identical because this they're both five percent off center okay so that's that what i'm going to do now is i'll going to take the um these supports off and then uh, once we've taken the supports off um we'll try it in the item where they're supposed to fit and that'll tell me the accuracy between both um, machines here the a1 the a1 mini and the x1c right here we are now i've taken all supports off um, first thing i like to say is about the supports is um, the most difficult one to take off and it weren't that bad really um, i just use a flat screwdriver and once you get underneath it peels off was the a1 mini but the a1 mini had the supports at a different angle because of the nature of um the build plate okay but it did come off i haven't done anything with them i've just taken the supports off and that's that's honest nothing touched just the supports that one is from the uh, a1 um that supports were the easiest to take off although the x1 were the same okay um some reason that is you could just once you clipped up one end you could virtually pull it off and then just clean it up that was it that one of the x1 now the x1 supports um the stand, same settings standard settings i've not touched anything i've done it exactly the same from bamboo studios so there's you know there's no difference in uh, in the support structure and that um, just a little bit more difficult but came off with ease but it was easier to get off than the A1 Mini okay now if you look at the there's virtually no difference what you see and if you I don't think you can see that there's some light patterning on the on that it's not ridges and I presume that's because where it goes for the supports in between it just shows a, a slight pattern but there's no ridges on it it's just a different discoloration okay perfect those that one the same okay it's um i'm really pleased with how they come out now the proof of the pudding will be there are two different units here one printed from the a1 mini that one printed on the a1 okay i haven't done the x1 because um i thought it's a bit pointless you just going a bit overboard with it uh, the one on the fish tank at the moment on the marine tank is actually from the a1 okay so the first one i'll try out is the from the x1 okay and i'll try it on this one which is from the a1 that's how it goes just enough to grip it okay that's it that is one excellent fit is that yep can't fault that whatsoever uh, and it will turn around and it will go in the same way okay so it proves that both grooves both arms when you flip them over are the same right we'll try this one which is printed on the a1 mini Just a little bit tight up at the top but that's that's to be acceptable because that one doesn't go up as far okay and as the nearer you get to the top the nearer that it nips those two together okay perfect can't fault that whatsoever right the next one is the a1 okay and um, something's telling me out of all these this is gonna be the best one I don't know why but something telling me that it's gonna be the, if you can see any markings on there it's only where I've just picked it with the screwdriver that's all 
Right, first one is this one. Again, that is a lovely fit, is that one? Yeah. Yeah, that is definitely pretty good, that. Let's try this one now. Yeah, lovely. That's, I would say, oof, marginally better than the X1. Marginally. I wouldn't say it's, um, there's a great deal of difference, but marginally. Now the A1 Mini. And this is the printer that, for the money, if I had to recommend any starter printer for anybody to start off with, for the price, value for money, and the efficiency and the build quality, I would say the A1 Mini. No mistake about that. And even if you wanted to go as far as the uh, A1 Mini with the um, AMS light, then yeah, for the price, it's excellent. But just for £169 at the moment, for the A1 Mini, that is outstanding value for what it gives you. Try this one first. Again, that's just, just fractionally, not much, but it's just fractionally, a little bit tighter where it goes over the centre part. Okay, and you have to have those supports in there because otherwise it would just nip them all together. Okay, so that's... I'll try it the other way around, like I've done the rest. Yeah. That's just slightly tighter on that one. But it still comes off. Still fits nice. Okay, so three, and although these are small prints, they're not complicated. What it does highlight is that when you've created something that has like mortises in, like that, and you have to have it where it's a nice slide fit because you want to be able to maneuver it up and down within the fish tank without taking it out because once you put it in if it's not quite right you don't be taking it out you want to be able to adjust it inside um, but for those three items there uh, X1 A1 A1 Mini um, value for money it's got to be A1 Mini Next step up would be the A1 with an AMS. Got to be. But if you want it in a fully enclosed printer that you can do ABS and all the other um, filaments that you require really heated chamber, X1. But that is an excellent printer is the A1 Mini for doing um, value for money prints. Well that's the conclusion of this video, um, as I was saying, value for money, quality of workmanship um, and results of the print, um, the A1 Mini is an outstanding printer, with or without the AMS, um, it's outstanding for the value, um, yeah, beginner's printer, definitely, um, I found, and I've done other prints on these um, all three but this was the first one where I tested the um, the actual prints that on a small but have to be accurate otherwise they don't work um, and the A1 excellent printer once again got the AMS for that um, I should be doing some coloured prints on that but it's they are excellent up here for in the office for prototyping then I send it down to the X1 in the workshop um, and the X1 far more expensive but there again that does filaments that probably would be really difficult to do on the A1 and the A1 Mini but um, there you go um, 
I'd like to, if anybody's got anything in the comment section, please put it in. I'll try and get back in touch with you. Um, you know, if, how you've coped with your A1, A1 Mini, or your X1, be interesting to find out. Um, this was just a simple test, but it was for an accuracy test. And uh, I've seen them out there on the on the internet, but I haven't seen it done across the board that with the somebody that's got the, you know, well, I haven't found one, X1C, A1, A1 Mini. Um, and I've done the lot, so, and I found them, they're good at what they do. Bamboo Labs works great with all three printers wirelessly. Um, so, there you go. So, as I always say at the end of the video, please, thumbs up. Um, don't forget, hit that notification, because it does help me, and you'll know when my next videos come out. And, uh, and as I always say at the end of the video, be safe, be careful, and bye for now.